on with today's recipe. Uh, and if this is too long for me to post, I will be posting it on Instagram and I apologise. Uh, so I'm going to be making tonight uh, a butternut squash, red onion, uh, chorizo, galette. So I'm going to start with uh, some chorizo. It's about 400 grams of chorizo. This will be enough for four people. I've drizzled it with some um, rapeseed oil for seasoning. I quite like cumin with um, butternut squash. Cumin also goes quite nicely with chorizo. Uh, and then I'll put some salt on there as well. And then I'm just going to pop that in the oven for about 20 minutes. The quantity of filling that I'm cooking will be for four people, but actually I'm only cooking for two of us tonight, so I've only cut out two pastry rounds. Uh, by all means, use the paper that your pastries come in. I'm going to put these on a baking tray and put them in the fridge for half an hour while I get everything else ready. Just a note on cutting these out. So I've cut these out from ready rolled puff pastry. By all means, get you can buy the bigger blocks and roll them out. But to get the maximum amount of pastry, you can see there's a straight edge there. I, I've kind of just roughly cut off some roundish edges. It's going to be rustic. <laughs> Leftover pastry, I'll do another film another day of ways of using it up. So I, I'm actually gonna keep this. I'll just wrap it in some cling film and put it in the fridge. Next ingredient are two of the uncooked chorizo. I'm going to cut it in half down the middle and then I'm going to take off the skin. I don't want the skin. And then I'm going to roughly chop these. The chorizo has cooked just only for a couple of minutes because it's going to be going in the oven, but it's just got a nice bit of colour. I'm going to use a slotted spoon and remove it from the pan to a paper towel in a bowl. Now in this pan, I'm just, oh, that's the squash ready. Do you want to wait so you can see it? Squash coming out. Again, I don't want this completely cooked. I'm just gonna test it. It's still got some give. Uh, that's perfect because obviously, again, this is going back in the oven on the pie. So that's the squash done. I'll just put that there. Um, I don't want to have too much oil in the pan, but actually that's enough. I'm going to put in thinly sliced red onions. I'm going to lower the heat and this will cook on a low heat saute for seven to ten minutes. You can't, can't rush them. I cooked the onions for 10 minutes and then I've put some uh, very finely chopped garlic in just for the last minute. I'm just going to uh, tip that, that can just go onto the pan and I'm just going to leave that to cool for a few minutes. So we've now got the butternut squash, the onions, I'm going to tip in the uh, chorizo. I've got some sage, that is up to your personal taste. I've got sage growing outside and sage and butternut squash is delicious. And I'm going to use my hands, I'm gonna get my hands in there to give this a good mix. Now, as I said earlier, before I get questions, I've made enough filling for one really big galette that will for, feed four people, but I'm just making two small galettes for us um, because there's only two of us here. And to answer the question, what would I do with the leftover filling? This would be gorgeous with pasta. So the spare filling I will keep and I will make a pasta dish um, for, for us tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands now. Mm, really important to test the seasoning. I've just tasted a little bit of the butternut squash. It needs a tiny bit more salt. In the name of transparency, I've never made a galette before. So um, I am putting this together um, for the first time, the same as maybe some of you will have done it before. I've never done it before. I've got my pastry square, um, or circle, sorry. I'm going to pop on the filling. You need to leave about uh, one and a half centimetres, approximately around the edge. Now I'm, I'm heavily loading mine. I think that's, that's plenty. I might just put some more. 
Right, I'm going to do a quick rinse of my hands. And then, it's not going to be beautiful. I'm sure if it was a Michelin style restaurant, it would be beautiful. But I'm going to start just folding it over, just over a tiny bit of the ingredients, just on the edge. And this is what makes it a galette. It is, it's this little tart um, that is just sitting in pastry. So you can see I'm just doing little pinches to hold it into place. Oh, it's quite therapeutic. <laughs> quite chuffed to be doing this. I've preheated the oven to 200 degrees. I've got some egg wash ready. Now on the egg wash front, I tend to do most of my egg washes with just the yolk and a little splash of water. Using just the yolk means you get a really, really dark, glossy, beautiful crust. And then save the whites for something else. You could make a, the obvious thing is obviously a meringue, or you, you could have scrambled eggs tomorrow and have a few normal eggs and just chuck in the, chuck in the white. So I'm going to carry on doing this and then these are going to go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. That's it, let's see. Um, okay, you're going to laugh. Before they go in the oven, I just, as I was about to put this in, in the oven, I saw my little plate. Um, so we're gonna to top it with cheese, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I'm using cheddar, I'm in Britain. If you're in America, you might want to use um, Monterey Jack or is it Monterey, whatever it's called. Um, I don't know what you'd use in Australia uh, and I will weigh it so that I can give you an exact measurement in the recipe and don't forget the recipe you'll be making one big one for four people or you can halve the recipe and make just two like this if there's two of you so I'm just topping with a bit of cheese and now it's going to go in the oven <laughs> that's why you watch this isn't it it's because um, I'm learning as I go these have just come out of the oven. I'm very happy. I'll take a photograph. They smell amazing. That is butternut squash and schwitzer galette.